in this this is the part four for the Pierce flatbed dump kit the objective here is to make sure that everything's gonna function properly before I build out the aluminum flatbed so I'm gonna lay out all my nuts and bolts and hardware and get it bolted to the moving parts for the dump kit and once I do that I'm gonna attempt to lift it up and down just to make sure it's working the way it should before I finish building out the bed. modify this bracket right here to bolt inside this four inch C channel. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Keep I'm gonna maintain this height. I got my spacers fore and aft exactly where I want it. So I'm just gonna modify this bracket to fit inside this channel as it sits right here. I'll put two stainless bolts in it. Be plenty strong. And uh, then I'm gonna do the same thing over on the other side. And that's where we're at now. Okay, so I flipped this C-channel around. I got it at the proper height. So I'm gonna clamp this guy onto here. And that will determine where this sill sits in relation to the truck frame. So I'm gonna work on that right now. I'm gonna clamp here. Then I'm gonna mark. I'm gonna mark this piece here. And I'll cut so it fits just inside and maintains this height. That's the move right now. Okay, that one fit in there real nice. So I'm just gonna pull it out and tune it up with the grinder, make it look nice, and then set the, set the length that I want for that sill, and I'm gonna bolt it on and keep trucking. So that worked out real nice. Sitting at, sitting at perfect height still. Happy with that. Okay, we got the second one all cut out and stuck in there real nice. Now I'll go dig up some hardware. I'm gonna get the fore and aft set to the proper length where I wanna install it. And then I'm gonna lock in those bolts and then I'm gonna weld the backs, these brackets in right here. And then I'm gonna bolt the, the remaining four bolts in for the sills and attempt to bring it up and down before I go all the way but I don't know maybe maybe not okay I'm gonna blow two half inch holes into here and I'm gonna reuse the existing hardware from the original flatbed these are good because I won't need to put a wrench on the other side. This will keep it from turning and I can just tighten it up. It's got a good lock nut and it's good strong steel. So we'll go ahead and reuse these.
All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna prep this thing for welding. I'm gonna scratch scratch the marks in it, take it down, grind the paint off of it, and put it back up, and then uh, I'm gonna weld weld it on there. Some of the surface rust off this, get as clean as I can. Okay, I decided to stick weld these with um, 1 8 inch 7018 welding rod. And we do have a wire feed MIG, steel MIG here, but with such a little bit of welding to do on this frame that uh, it, it doesn't, it's not worth it. The gas is so expensive. We're located in Hawaii and the gas is extremely expensive out here. And uh, it's just not worth it. We'd, I'd have to strip off the 200 feet of wire off the spool since it hasn't been used in so long. It has like surface rust and stuff on it. And then the expensive bottle of gas I'd have to go get and uh, just to do this little bit of welding it's more economical to use the this this uh, welding rods these 7018 332 welding rods is a great general purpose rod it's very strong and so long the metals clean you, you'll get it'll it'll hold together real nice I'm using um, my dynasty on DC and I'm using about 90 amps and just just laying it in there. She looks like 7018 332, about 90 amps. A little tricky welding half inch plate to 1 8 inch plate, so just trying to keep all the heat onto the uh, thicker metal and just wick it over, just wash it over to the 1 8 inch plate. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn. I'm gonna burn a, a pass in on the bottom. I'll probably stitch weld the bottom down there. Okay, we had a little oops. So, so right now I'm gonna just make a hole here, and I may do the same over here. I'm gonna make my own hole to solve this conundrum, and uh, sometimes that happens, but we'll keep on trucking. Okay. Got it lifted up just to see, make sure everything's working the way it should and everything was working real nice. So now we can go ahead and continue fabricating the aluminum bed. The next move probably be build a bracket for the pump and uh, get, get the ram plumbed up and simultaneously build out the aluminum flatbed and the deck and behind the cab and the rear bumper and stuff. That's the mission. So I really appreciate you watching. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and catch us on the next one. We've got more videos coming up. 
every day I'm filming videos every day so I upload them as often as I can thanks again thanks for watching